hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today let's look into another question that was asked in a business analytics interview so this question was asked at a company called grid and the question goes like this given you have a list of email IDs who have made an attempt to sign up on your app find out which of these domains have highest subscription failure rate arrange the order of highest to lowest failures table name employees so given the employee table find out which of these domains have uh, highest failures to lowest failures so a sample output has been given according to the table given above and it says yahoo one failure uh, gmail one failure and hotmail one failure so as mentioned in the table so yahoo has one failure gmail has one failure and hotmail has one failure so let's go to the console and start writing a query on how this works. So here I already have the data, which says uh, this is the data. Let me run it for you. Here you can see the data here. So it has employee ID, name, email, and status. So yes. So here we are going to use a function called the substring index substring index essentially is a string operation which helps you to uh, split a word or a phrase using a delimiter so let me write it down substring index uh, we will have to split the email address and the delimiter is the at the rate and we are going to take the last word so I will be taking minus one and if I run this for you, so I have how many of these uh, domains are available, uh, how many of the above data is split by a uh, at the rate symbol. So what we now need is we need to count number of such uh, data uh, where there is a failure. So I am going to put a where condition. Where lower dot status equals failure so these are the email addresses domains of the email addresses which are failed so to count how many of them are there let's take a uh, column which is independent i would essentially uh, suggest you to go with the id column which is a primary key which will be a which will help you easily group them so let me group count the number of IDs that is employee ID and given we are using an aggregate function count we'll have to group them group by one so I'll give it I'll give this an alias as domain as count of failures so let me run this so we have all the domains that is present and the count of failures but the question says order them by highest to lowest of failures so let me order them by descending order order by 2 or you can even use count of failures as this yeah. so here it's ascending by default if I need it descending yeah. so we have this descending so to explain more of how the substring index function works I have a way yeah so I have this example here which is Microsoft at Excel at 1 2 3 4 uh, say for example I'll have to split this by the delimiter at so when I split this by delimiter at it is going to give an output saying so, so Microsoft Excel 1 2 3 4 and the indexing or the positioning is in this way this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 and if you want to look at it from the end it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 both of the top and the bottom is right this is forward this is this is backward 
so given we are looking at the domain which is from the end so i took minus one so if you want to look at if you want to get the first word of after delimiting after splitting it by the delimiter you can use one so that's how it works so if i give the number two uh, it's going to take the first two words say if the index is two so the output would be so ft that it is it is going to give both the first word and second word essentially up until second uh, index say if it is minus 2 it is going to give similarly from the backwards until minus 2 so it is going to give uh, excel at 1 2 3 4 so all right yeah let's try implementing what we just learned about substring index uh, here I have modified my data little where I have added the same delimiter twice. So I have added at, at and uh, we have three words essentially split by a delimiter. So let me show you the output. Yeah, it says john at smith at gmail.com. Maybe j at onsen at yahoo.com. So say for example, I'm going to use a function uh, index comma add comma one is going to give me all these all the part of the word which are before the first delimiter so we have john mary j david and sarah so now if i use two it's going to give me the first and the second including the delimiter so it says John add Smith and nothing after the second delimiter. So and if I use three, it's going to give me the whole thing. Say if you if you're going to try using four, because we do not have fourth part, it's going to give us everything from one until four. Given we don't have four, it's going to give us until three. So let's try it from the backwards. So let me try minus one, and it's going to give me only gmail.com or yahoo.com, and therefore that's a first part of the uh, uh, phrase from the end so if i use minus two it's going to give me the second and the last that is uh, minus one and minus second position from the end and similarly minus three would give us the entire immunity and therefore this is how a substring index gets used in string functions thank you